Hi everyone, I'm Chris Arboli, Operations Manager for Union Soccer Schools. Today we're at Talon Energy Stadium to highlight our goalkeeper division. One of the questions I get asked most frequently is about our goalkeeper division. We have our four separate divisions, but then we also have a separate track dedicated to the development of our keepers. I'm joined by one of our goalkeeper specialists, Kevin Lynch, to describe what we do at Union Soccer Schools within our goalkeeper division. If someone chooses to work with our Union Soccer School's Keepers Camp, they will be getting five days worth of an hour training in the morning. We will work on different things from training from angles to catching the ball to proper diving technique. Safety is our number one priority at ESF and Union Soccer Schools. So no matter the age, we want to teach the basics and make sure everybody understands how to catch the ball the right way. Kevin is going to walk through some of the basics of catching, handling, and footwork. As a staff, what we're looking for here is good lateral movement. We don't want him crossing over his feet as he's going to catch the ball. And when he's catching the ball, we want to make sure his feet are ready in a set position, on his toes, ready to receive the ball with his elbows in. What John did well throughout this entire drill was he kept facing us the entire time. His feet never crossed, he was staying on his toes and always in a ready position. What our goalkeeping staff is looking for during our diving portion of the camp is are they in their set position and ready to go. When the ball is thrown at them, we're looking to make sure they take their step in front of the cone at a forward angle. We want them shooting their hands to the ball, creating a three-hand catch. This three-hand catch consists of a ball, the hand on top of the ball, one hand behind the ball, and the third hand is the ground. During their collapse dive, we're making sure that the ball hits the ground first, followed by the ribs, because this is the safest way to dive. One of the things we are focusing on on another dive is making sure that their elbows are out and extended away from the body. We do not want our campers falling on top of their elbows, for this would be create an injury. Once they show competence in the basics, we can move on to something more advanced following our normal progression. It's necessary for all keepers to understand their angle arc and where to position themselves in order to make saves. The angle arc is a line we create to represent a good starting position for a keeper to stand when facing a shot. Our focus is for the keepers to imagine a string coming from the ball through the middle of their chest into the middle of the goal. Our next drill puts our goalkeepers in decision-making situations. What we have is a goal to the keeper's left and a goal to the keeper's right. There is also a shooter tucked inside each near post. What happens during the drill is the shooter comes forward with the ball. The goalkeeper is looking for the man on the ball to drop their head and look for a bad touch. When the keeper sees that, they're rushing out to beat the shooter to one of the goals. The other decision that would be made during this drill is to readjust their angle arc based on a pass to the near post. The keeper then readjusts, shuffles their feet, gets square to the shooter to make the save. These are just some of the essentials taught and reinforced at Union Soccer Schools in our goalkeeper division. Join us this summer to learn more.